set the general filter to audio files so that unnecessary files are hidden in the search results. Add your sample folder to the media bay, otherwise your samples will not be shown in the search results. This may take a little while. To clear up the browser, select Use Selection as Base Location from the Preferences menu. The currently selected folder will come into focus. You can also store a folder as a favorite for streamlined working. If you're working with our samples, you should slightly change the attributes as shown. In the first attribute, select Audio Assets Library Name to easily access each library. In the third attribute, select Track Template Instrument to filter single drum options like Hi-Hat Open, Hi-Hat Close, etc. more precisely. In the fourth attribute, select Media Comment to filter the sound of a drum, for example, heavy, normal, or light. fifth attribute, select Audio Assets Room Type to filter the samples with the same room type. Okay, let's turn our attention to the attributes filter. Let's say you'd like to show all light, then heavy, then normal kicks from the Vintage Electric Library. First select the library. Then, select the category which represents the general instrument group. Then, select the sound which corresponds to the comment tag. Finally, you can use the media bay to feed your VSTs with samples, presets, etc. Again, set up the filter to get your preferred samples. Load your preferred VST sampler, in this case, Groove Agent. Then just drag and drop the samples to the pads. Get snares, just change the attributes filter.